Namaste, my dear friends. Many friends of mine who are working in businesses, who are working uh, in a regular nine to five jobs and they have to commute a long distance, they say, my dear friend, we don't have so much time to attend a yoga class. We don't have time to practice too long yoga practices. Can you give us some simple advice to of yoga that we can implement in our daily life? Now this is very tricky because on the one hand as a yoga teacher and as a yoga therapist I very well know that we need to adopt appropriate practices that are suitable for each of us. So giving a standardized practice is contrary to this very principle and uh, so I hesitate to usually advise people like that. However, it is a growing reality that so many people are extremely stressed because of their stressful life and they need some simple tricks that will help reduce their stress, help them be a little bit better so that they can function in their lives a little bit more efficiently and hopefully will start to see the value of yoga and come to deeper practices. So some simple techniques that I really think will be very, very helpful is a few of them. First of all, to take a few minutes of your daily schedule like in the break time in your job or in the lunch break in your job and do some extended breathing with the focus especially on the exhalation. So I would say that you just inhale as free as possible but each time you exhale try to extend the breath a little each time. Now what this will do is it will send the body a relaxation response and this will trigger a whole set of changes in the system not only at a physiological level or a respiratory level but also in an emotional level as well where people will feel a bit more relaxed and uh, this can also help them function better in their job because mostly many studies have come which says that people who are more relaxed function better in their jobs perform better in evaluations and assessments and I think that would be a very simple technique that each person can do Another thing that yoga talks about is mobility. Yoga is all about mobility of prana, of energy. So I would say that perhaps at different points in the break, you can just take a short walk, even if it's for two minutes or three minutes, you can just take a walk. You could probably go up and down the staircase, if not uh, take the elevator. And if you say to me that, well, my, my office is at the 40th floor, I can't walk up 40 floors, take the elevator till the 36th or 37th floor and take the last three floors by walk. This will be a very good way to move and become active and this is a very important part of yoga. Every weekend try to spend some time in the forest where the energy is clean, the energy is pure, you hear the sounds of the birds, you hear the sounds of the water. All these are very very important to refresh our body to revitalize our body and let go of all the stress that we accumulate through our job. Another thing that I often recommend is to drink a lot of water, especially room temperature or warm. Cold water is not so good for our digestive system and this can make our digestive system weaker. So drinking water at room temperature or slightly warm is very healthy for our digestive system. And this is also a very important tip that you can implement very easily in your daily life. And the last thing I would like to say is get enough sleep. This is a very important principle in yoga and Ayurveda where they say that sleep is one of the pillars of health and longevity. So if you can try to get to bed early and get enough sleep, that would be extraordinary and when you sleep make sure that you sleep in a room where your phones are switched off your wireless is switched off so that there is pure uh, pure energy as much as possible and not too many electronic vibrations that can disturb our neurological system so start with these simple principle my friends and then see how your life changes namaste